Today we're learning about parentheses, and this is your education. The cowboy roped the steer on his horse. The cowboy roped the steer on his horse. Supposedly, the parentheses, or rounded brackets, we use today were popularized by Italian educator Gasparino Barziza in the early 1400s. Desiderius Erasmus nicknamed these marks lunale because they looked like moons. Parentheses are most often used to add on explanatory elements, so dashes emphasize a thought to be separate from other words, blocking the words off from the flow of the sentence. And parentheses do this in an even more powerful way, like placing the words in their own special room to be separately recognized by the reader. Parentheses must only be inserted into a complete sentence. Try reading your sentence without the parenthetical content, and if it makes sense grammatically, you're good to go. For example, the doctor and the medical school students is waiting for the next patient to arrive. That's correct because is is the correct verb form for the doctor. If the parenthetical content is part of a larger sentence, place the period or ending punctuation mark outside of the parentheses. If the content is standing on its own as a complete sentence, the closing punctuation mark should be placed inside the parentheses. The most important thing to remember is that parentheses always come in pairs. So however many left brackets you have, the same number of right brackets must come afterwards. Marcel Proust and E.E. E. Cummings are two of the many authors, especially poets, that use parentheses in their works, and you can too. Alright writers, get out there and start writing. This has been your Edumacation. Just, just, dang it. Did I stumble over that? Should I redo that? Because, oh, no. <laughs> and the medical stew stew. The stew. Okay. Oh, no. I was doing this, but in videos, this will be left.